Hey folks, how you doing? Papa Joe here again. I uh, told you I was doing two of these tonight. The last two nights, I have done videos about sowing seeds. And uh, tonight I'm doing another one. Simply because the universe operates off of opposites. Everything has an opposite. Up's got down, good's got bad, what's got dry. Everything has opposites. Good and bad. Happy and sad. Well, this parable that I have read to you, Matthew 13, it was uh, the parable of the sower. Uh, and I'm not reading all of it to you tonight. I'm just going to hit a couple parts of it. A uh, farmer went out to sow his seeds. As he scattered the seed, some fell along the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky places where it did not have much soil. It sprang up quickly because the soil was shallow. But when the sun came up, the plants were scorched and died. I added a little bit there. Other seeds fell among the thorns, which grew up and choked them out. Still other seed fell on good soil where it produced a crop. Now, uh, <coughs> the disciples went to him and asked him, why are you talking like this, these folks? And uh, he explained it to them, which I read it to you last night. But then he started to explain to them what the parable meant. So that's the part I'm going to read to you now. I skipped a whole bunch in there. So when anyone, uh, let's see. When anyone hears the message about the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what was sown in their heart. This is a seed sown along the path. The seed falling on the rocky ground refers to someone who hears the word and at once receives it with joy. But since they have no root, they last only a short time. When trouble or persecution comes because of the word, they quickly fall away. The seed falling among the thorns refers to someone who hears the word, but the words of this life and the death deceitfulness of wealth choked the word, making it unfruitful. But the seed falling on the good soil refers to someone who hears the word and understands it. This is the one who produces the crop. Now what I want to get across to you is uh, like I said in that video last night, You've got people that sow and seed, like I am tonight. That's what I'm doing right now, sow and seed. And as I said, that's my job. I sow the seed. Now, you're the seed. You've got the word that I'm putting out. Now, it's up to you what you do with that word. All right. We're, uh, he refers to, uh, here in the beginning, uh, when anyone hears a word, hears a message about the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what was sown in their heart. This is a seed sown on the path. So what he's saying there is I tell you about it, you hear the word, and you're like, that's pretty cool. Okay, I have checked that out sometime. I'll give that a try sometime. Christianity and loving the Lord is not something that you try. It ain't a pair of pants you put on. Let's see if this fits. I'll try God on for a while, and if this works, then I'll do the Christian thing. It don't work like that. It comes from here. 
not from here. It comes from here. So it ain't like you're going to be saying, oh, Lord, you know, one of these days I'll try you out. You know, and if you're what everybody says, if you give me the wealth and all the stuff everybody says and heal me, then yeah, I'll be one of yours. It don't work that way. The uh, seed that fell on the rock, uh, the seed falling on the rocky ground refers to someone who hears the word at, and at once receives it with joy. But since they have no root, they last only a short time. Now what that makes me think of, which I don't watch them, uh, a bunch of these TV preachers, man, they whip everybody into a frenzy. They uh, preach to them out of emotion, which is good to a degree, you know. It don't hurt to get excited about Jesus and his love for us. But when you're a showman and you can whip people into a frenzy, kind of like wrestling, now these people all worked up and they're chunking out money. You know, let's fill that bucket up he's passing around. When they leave, they lose it. Most of them. Some of them keep it. Then they get home and come Friday, two days later it's Friday, it's time to start paying the bills. Bills ain't adding up with what money is. This, that, and the other. All of the world starts getting in there. Good Lord quickly fades. And you know, it's I can't go to church, I gotta go to work. Which is a legitimate excuse if you're not using it for an excuse. I drive a truck. Trust me. Many a Sunday I'm driving. Most Sundays if I'm not driving, I'm not around the church and can't drive these big rigs into churches. That's a whole different video about truck driver church and stuff. Uh, but anyway, the real shallow. It sounded good today. Come tomorrow. Yeah. The uh, one that fell on the thorn or in amongst the thorns. Now that one, he's talking about them. Yeah, buddy. Rock and roll. This Jesus thing's good. Let me try to put this one tonight. It's kind of hot in here. Hopefully that ain't too noisy with the trucks. Uh, I'll lean a little closer for you. The uh, ones that fell amongst the thorns, they're doing real good. And they start going to church and all this. They're really wanting to do the Jesus thing as a lot of people say. However, they get a little bit excited and that's just how I see it. They get a little bit excited and they start talking about Jesus at work or at a friend's house at a barbecue. And you know, I've told you many times, Christians today is under attack. So here they are, they're excited, and they're going to try to spread the word a little bit, as we're told to do. They come under attack. They fold like a cheap tent. Now well, there's can be different reasons for it. <laughs> but when uh, the ridicule and the persecution comes because you're a Christian, that's when you need to stand strong, but a lot of people fold. It's a crying shame. And I can't blame the people you know, the ones that folded like a cheap newspaper. You can't really blame them. 
they wasn't prepared for the attack, the assault. But it still happens. Then you got the one that fell on the good soil. Those are the ones that multiply. Those are the ones that don't fold like that cheap newspaper. They're the ones that, okay, I have bill problems, but the good Lord will provide and see to it I get by. I consider myself in that category. I, uh, I'm getting by. You know, I'm getting by. Thank you, Lord. I'm spreading the word. I haven't been attacked a whole lot. Very minimal. Minimal. But, uh, everything's got its opposites. So you got the one going around sowing. That's all his job is, is to sow. The Bible plainly tells us that. Someone else's job to water. And then you got the harvester. We all know who the harvester is, right? So, uh, it's up to you what you do with the word when you meet the sower. It's up to you if this video that I'm doing strikes you. Cool. I'm happy. Praise God. Now what are you going to do with it? Are you going to be excited while you watch it? Forget it by morning? Going to be excited? Start doing a little bit of Bible studying? Learn about the Lord? And how to serve Him? But as soon as you come under attack, you're going to fold? Are you going to just stand tough? Learn about Him? Learn how to spread His Word? When they attack you, let it roll off your back. Remember, if they attack you as a Christian, they're attacking the Lord. That's who they're really attacking. You're just a proxy. It's kind of like these atheists that uh, are so upset with us Christians and they want the Bible out of this and out of that and, and blah, blah, blah. If you're an atheist and you don't believe in God and you think that I'm a fool for believing in him because God's a joke and a fairy tale, why are you so scared of him? Why does he bother you so much? Why don't you just laugh at me and go about your way? You can't do that. You have to attack the Christians because you can't attack God want to, but you don't know how. That's a rabbit trail. Something that just drives me nuts. Uh, I don't know where else to go with it, folks. It's uh, up to each and every one of us what we do with the seed. Once somebody's planted that seed in our heart, it's up to us what we do with it. I'm going to see if I can spread a few more. Dad, gum it, I think I'll just see if I can spread the word and the more seeds. That's just how I am. I hope this helped you a little bit. I hope you're uh, sowing a few seeds yourself. So, remember, God loves you. So do I. Y'all have a great evening. Go sow a seed. Good night.